Hello, I'm Jill at Ingvid, and today's lesson is on what I might call intensifiers, if that's not a, uh, too alarming a word. Uh, these are extra words that just make something sound stronger, uh, that gives more emphasis to what you're saying. Um, so um, it makes it more powerful. Uh, so there are quite a few of these words that add something, extra strength to the impact of, of what you're saying. Um, so uh, these are just a few examples, really. Um, but the, a very typical one that's used a lot um, is very. So instead of just saying, I'm happy, if you say, I'm very happy, it adds more to what you're saying. It makes it stronger. I'm very happy. So uh, the word very, um, it, it comes from the French word or maybe Latin going further back, um, meaning true. So it's like saying, I am truly happy. I'm very happy. So truthfully, I'm very happy. Okay, so very you probably use that word quite a lot. Um, so these things just help to uh, give you more uh, more scope in in your English use of English, um, more more variety. Um, so there we are. That's that one, a very well known one. Um, you can also use uh, the verb do uh, it, uh, in a kind of modal sense here. Uh, you can say, I like your new car. Oh, I like your new car. Uh, but if you say, I do like your new car, uh, it adds a little bit, even though it's only one syllable. I do like your new car. It adds more emphasis to what you're saying. So you've got the main verb, I like, and this is just an extra one to, to strengthen it. Okay, and then the, another little word, so. Um, you can say that tastes good, that tastes good. Uh, but if you say that tastes so good, um, it gives more emphasis again. That tastes so good. Um, there we are. So that's nice and simple. Uh, another one that's used a lot, really. Um, so instead of just saying, that's a good idea, um, if you want to emphasize it, that's a really good idea. And uh, I think it then, if you're using a, an extra word like that, it comes out in how you sound as you're saying it, the tone of your voice, instead of just, that's a good idea, which can sound a bit neutral a bit flat. That's a really good idea. You can add a lot more and you go towards that. That's your sort of, that's a really good idea. And that's the strongest word in the sentence when you say it. It sounds stronger than all the others. Okay. Then we have some longer words, which um, these are all adverbs ending L-Y. So absolutely, you can use the word absolutely all on its own, just as a statement. If someone says, uh, oh, that was a good film, wasn't it? And you could just reply, absolutely, just one word. And uh, it's, it's a good word to use on its own. But you can also use it, of course, in a sentence. So Instead of just saying, that's amazing, which is quite strong already, that's amazing. But if you say, that's absolutely amazing, um, absolutely four syllables, so it's a longer word, uh, it's a longer statement. So that's a good one to use for that in a sentence or just on its own. Um, the same with definitely. You can use definitely on its own. Um, so um, 
you could say, oh, um, somebody could ask you, are you going to Mary's party at the weekend? And you'd say, definitely. So you definitely want to go. You're planning to go. Um, so you can reply just with the one word again. Um, but you, you can say something like, you have some choices, some options, and that one, that's the best option. I think that's the best option. But you can make it much stronger if you say, that's definitely the best option. Okay? And then finally, um, maybe this word, it's not so easy to use just on its own, although you could possibly... Um, Extremely. Uh, do you like that uh, that movie star? Oh, extremely. Mm, it doesn't sound quite right, but perhaps this word is better as part of a, a sentence. So you can say, oh, it's hot in here. It's hot in here. But if you say it's extremely hot in here, uh, it's more likely that somebody is going to do something about it and say, oh, oh, sorry, I'll open a window. Um, so it's extremely hot in here, uh, makes it much stronger as a statement. And you might get some results, uh, some reactions from people when you say it. OK, so I hope that's been a useful session to help you to expand your vocabulary and put more emphasis when you want to into what you're saying by using these intensifier words. Uh, so there's a quiz on this topic. If you'd like to go to ingvid.com and do the quiz and see how you do. So thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon. Okay. Bye for now.